Osiris fought at the Battle of Six Fronts. It's said he seemed to be everywhere at once that day. Welcome back, Guardians. With Season of Dawn, we have received plenty of lore about Saiyan 14, but we also got a bunch of lore about Osiris, specifically during the Battle of Six Fronts. This new lore explains an in-game quote from Brother Vance, a quote that has always stayed with me. The quote is, Osiris fought the Battle of Six Fronts, it's said he seemed to be everywhere at once that day. Previously, we never knew if Brother Vance was just exaggerating the abilities of Osiris, or if there was some truth to this statement. In addition, this new lore may also explain Osiris' glowing appearance when he met with the Queen to warn her of Oryx. In my mind, this new information about Osiris fighting at six fronts places Osiris amongst the most powerful warlocks. I mean, he probably was already amongst the most powerful warlocks, but I found this lore really interesting, so stick around to find out more. The concept art at the beginning of this video was by Ryan Gitter. Link to his website will be below. And if you're new to my channel, I would recommend watching my last video about the Speaker's Mask, which we now understand its purpose. Link will be in the top right hand corner and in the description. This is Marlin Games and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Okay, so I assume most people know about Saint-14 and Osiris fighting at six fronts. They defended the city against the Fallen. Osiris was so impressive that Saint-14 wanted to appoint him as Vanguard Commander. Have a listen to the Destiny 1 Grimoire card. It reads, You were a mighty warrior. I watched you at six fronts and heeded the call of Saint-14 to appoint you Vanguard Commander. Even when the Concordat claimed to have records proving you were a Golden Age experiment misincarnated as a human by an inept ghost, Saint 14 assured me you were just a man without much patience for obfuscation. Like I said at the beginning of this video, Brother Vance also said Osiris seemed to be everywhere at once at the Battle of Six Fronts. So, what was Osiris doing? Well, I think the first thing to discuss is that Osiris is very competent in activating his super energy and manipulating the light. Just have a listen to what happens when Osiris takes on a warlord. The lore entry, Moths to Flame Part 2, from the lore book The Pigeon and the Phoenix, reads, A painted ghost whips in front of Osiris' face. Warlord Reich demands you stand. You're on my turf, burning my wood, that's stealing, that's an arm. Given immortality and all you can think to do is grab at what's around you, what a waste. The warlord laughs, the ghost quickly laughs in step. You're a disgrace, Osiris peers over his shoulder. Leave. Rethink your path. It's your arm or your life, those are the rules. Make your decision. Osiris leaves the words to hang around the warlord's head. I have half a dozen guns at my back. The Warlord puts pitted iron to Osiris's hood. I have a spark. Flame engulfs Osiris, erupting into wings that cast back the shadows of the night. A white hot blade extends from his hand. In one swift motion, Osiris cuts the Warlord down into a sizzling heap and snatches his stunned ghost from the air. His gaze shifts to the people to catch sight of their backs as the lot retreat into the woods. Absolutely ruthless. By the way, Osiris goes on to lecture this warlord's ghost so much that the ghost doesn't even revive the warlord. Got him. Okay, so Osiris is a pretty powerful guardian in itself, but it doesn't stop there. Now let's have a look at what actually happened at the Battle of Six Fronts. The lore entry, Thin, reads, Osiris burns, a roaring visage against the sky soot firmament, compressing endless night. Skines of light twist and hum, charged sinew stitch through his muscles and bones. Myriad shimmering gold marionettes scramble to reinforce gaps across the city's defense at his behest. The east below him breached by waves of frenetic clamoring fallen. The front had not broken, only moved. He focuses his projections there. A small fire team holds the line, Osiris twists, Golden Defiance moves to stanch the Fallen's momentum. One projection locks eyes with a titan. She nods, and with fluid elegance the projection lifts her skyward. 
She brings down a tempest that rolls thunder across the city walls and scatters the advancing force. Shax bellows in the distance. <laughs> what the hell? Osiris summons projections and uses projections to defend the city. One of the projections even lifts a titan into the air so she can basically rain down titan fists upon the fallen. We know that Osiris has projections, but I always thought that this was just part of the infinite forest. I didn't know or didn't think that Osiris could just summon projections outside of the infinite forest and that these projections can actually fight and interact with the world. This is the explanation to why Brother Vance says he appeared to be everywhere all at once. It seems like Osiris uses the light to create these projections, however it is not easy and it is very straining. Have a listen to the next scene, how Osiris' projections instantly reinforce different defensive positions of the city. Multiple skies snap, the sky stretches into starless night, and oblivion crowds the borders of Osiris' mind in suffocating omnipresence. The margins, light thinly stretched, under duress, never enough. The west is bending, the transfer instantaneous. Osiris weaves inferno, ether and flame engulfing each other into ashen wake. He spots eight lights climbing the ridge. Click. A lone guardian crashes onto the ridge top horizon. Click. They will survive. Click. He turns, palm align. The north is bending, nerves burn. The city's golden hue falters, only a moment of exhalation. The north fractures, field guns rip into the wall. He is there, two hunters hold, one snap fires beams of sunlight from her rifle, wreathed in flame. The second dances through challenges, her blades arc purity, none would pass them. His projections move to fill the gap. Bodies in the rubble, evacuees from the eastern breach caught in the blast. Their deaths filled his mind through twenty gilded eyes, capturing the scene in its totality. Osiris is not just controlling these projections, but he's also seeing through the projections. As I just read, he witnessed the events of Six Fronts through twenty gilded eyes. Now, it also turns out that Osiris did not just use projections for fighting, but he also used projections to conduct meetings, rather than physically attending the meeting. He would just send a projection. Have a listen to the law entry reunion where Saint-14 and Osiris are reunited. It reads, Hello Geppetto. Sagira visits Akora. Osiris sits on the gangway of the Grey Pigeon. He runs a ribbon through his fingers. Hello Saint. Osiris, I wondered if this meeting would be with one of your projections. I would not. Osiris is about to say he would never send a projection to meet with Saint-14. He would always meet in person with Saint, almost like it's rude to send a projection. That being said, it almost seems like Osiris sent a projection to meet with the Queen. All the way back in Destiny 1 when House of Wolves was released, the Grimoire card Ghost Fragment the Queen 2 spoke about Eris and Osiris visiting the Queen, and how Osiris was basically glowing, almost like looking at a bright light. Have a listen. Your grace, said the man before her at the foot of the stairs. His voice was soft but strong. When he spoke, the hunter started to turn her head toward him, then flinched as if someone had shone a bright light into her eyes. We never really knew why Osiris was so shiny in this Grimoire card, but maybe now we have an answer. He could have been using a projection. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word projection to represent Osiris' powerful ability to create light projections for meetings and battles. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.